Following the recent attack on four communities in Kajuru Lake government area with 32 persons killed, houses raised with children and women displaced at various IDP camps in Kaduna states, the Southern Kaduna People's Union has distributed clothes and food items to internally displaced persons in Kajuru. Abila Darufai filed the district report as presented from our studios. Sunday, the 5th of June, was a sad day for the four communities of Dogon, Noma, Gamu, Ongwan Sakit, and Maikori village when bandits attacked and killed 32, kidnapped others, and many went missing. Speaking at the distribution of the food items to the IDPs at Maraban Kajuru, President of Sokapu, Jonathan Ashake, said the victims of Kajuru bandits were in serious need of food items clothing and shelter. He said the continuous attacks by terrorists in Adara communities and gruesome killings must be put to an end. Where a helicopter was seen hovering and the helicopter instead of firing at the attackers fired at the victims, the natives of the communities while the attack was going on. Eyewitnesses said it was a white helicopter. But the state government, through the Commissioner of Internal Security, came with a statement affirming the fact that there was an attack and 32 people were killed. Ashakel lamented the alleged white helicopter sighted in the communities, leading to the killings of innocent citizens, several others missing with many injured, while calling on government at all levels, security agencies, and international communities to investigate thoroughly to bring culprits to justice. We thought these people, the helicopter was, somebody might have alerted the security men and they are coming to our, to our rescue. Lo and behold, they just came and I was starting uh, shelling everybody there. At our people, the concern is, have they really come to assist us or they've come to assist the bandits? When we saw our people falling down as, they were, as the helicopter was, uh, was uh, firing, then we too, we dispatch because we cannot stand the strength of the helicopter and those on the ground. A lot of people, they were killed in the village and a lot we were hiding in the bush. They burn our food and clothing and with a lot of things in their houses, including our house, they burn everything. Earlier, the bandit demanded 15 million Naira. After a few days, they later demanded additional 5 million for the safe release of kidnapped victims. Please, we need help in our village because our people have been killing, our house has been destroying, Many things we lost life and our people in their hands now. We don't, we don't have any money that we are going to pay ransom to collect our people. But now they are saying that we are going to pay 20 million. Recall that Kaduna State in a statement at the bomb helicopter killed innocent locals saying the NAF are repelled the terrorists. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.